Typically, when covering massive aircraft orders, they fall in the hands of either Airbus and or Boeing. Maybe on the off chance, they'll also be in the direction of Embraer. However, never do they typically steer clear of our main players in the industry. Until now, Hainan Airlines Group has announced that it'll purchase 60 C919s from Comac and 40 of their ARJ21 regional jets in a major commitment of 100 aircraft for its future operations within the group. The deal was signed in China at the end of April and has since made headlines globally for it being such a large commitment. The aircraft types will be distributed to Urumqi Air and Supana Airlines. I do apologize for any mispronunciation there. These two carriers, in any case, are under the Hainan Airlines Holdings Group, if you will. The commitment to the planes is an interesting one for what is being described as a testing period for the group. To better understand the capabilities of the aircraft they're receiving from Comac and whether they have the true potential to support other airlines in the group later down the line. The ARJ-21 is a regional aircraft that can fit around 90 passengers, but this will depend on the respective airline's chosen configuration once they've got it in their hands. Meanwhile, the C919 can seat around 160 passengers and travel between 4,000 and 5,500 kilometers, while options for airlines... While these are options for airlines that are being put forward, Comac are yet to really break ground in the Western scene, as you may expect. However, other manufacturers are keeping a watchful eye on Comac's developments and progress. As with Asia's expected growth moving forward, and all the airlines' their importance for Boeing and Airbus's performance, the pair will have to ensure that their dialogue with customers is solidified, and their presence is felt, even if they aren't truly based out in this region. Current airlines with orders or options for the C919 are that of Air China, China Eastern, China Southern, Sichuan Airlines, and now Hainan. What are your thoughts on a deal for 100 aircraft by the group, especially as these are being pitted as a test of the capabilities of aircraft and whether they'd be fit for purpose on, say, more fundamental routes and operations within the group in the long term? Let me know your thoughts again down below in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've been enjoying the news and content. Again, we're at the beginning of a new week, so hopefully lots more to come. Take care, be safe, and I will see you next time. And we'll fly.